On today's episode of Spending Unnecessary Money for Content, we will be making almond milk. I actually have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out as we go. So if anybody knows me, I love almond milk, I could drink it by itself, but I love coffee and I drink coffee like almost every day and before I discovered the beauty of almond milk, I used to drink cow's milk a lot and I don't know if y'all know but cow's milk isn't really good for you. Our bodies as adults aren't really made to consume cow's milk as much as we want to. It's not the ideal milk for you to drink and I thought, you know, why not make my own almond milk? So let me tell you all what ingredients you need. Step one, soak your almonds overnight in some water. This is how it looks. Right. Step two, strain your almonds out of your water and give it a little small wash wash it out you know whatever whatever yeah I have strained my almonds this is how it looks step three add all ingredients into the blender your almonds water your sweetener and some vanilla essence to make it vanilla -y. if you want to make it vanilla -y. You're gonna throw all your almonds in the almond milk, in the blender. So all my almonds are in, and then you're gonna throw some water in your blender. Cover your almonds like that. Okay, so you're covering all your almonds. Right. Then you're gonna add your sweetener, which in my case is the honey. Any amount you want, it doesn't really matter. Honey takes a while to come out. So yeah, my honey is in. And then I'm gonna put like a dash of the vanilla essence. That is my dash. That is my dash. Step four, blend. I'm going to replace the sound of the blender with some music. Step five, forget you're supposed to strain it, drink it, and then, you know, just basically feel like shit afterwards. Step six, strain your almond milk. So you take a bowl and your strainer, and you take the almond milk, right? And you strain it, like you put it in the strainer, so that it gets all the pulp and all the almonds out. I didn't know that. I'm gonna strain it for a while. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so I strain it. And this is what it looks like. I don't have like a um, thing to put it in. I'm just gonna put it in this thing that I found. I'm gonna pour it into here. Oh god, oh god. Good. I made a mess. But this is my almond milk. And step seven. Make iced coffee and let us see how this tastes. Here we have my iced coffee. Let's see if it actually tastes good. Mm. Okay, it's different. It doesn't taste bad. Eh? I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it yet. It's not as sweet as the one that I drink. So it kind of tastes a little weird, but it's not bad. 
I made it myself, so I'm kind of proud of that. So yeah. But that's it. That's it for this episode of Cooking with Jerry. 